Hello, this is Professor Stephen Nashaba, and I'm here to help you out with uh, some doing some calculations having to do with the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide in Excel. So uh, if you've set up things like this, where uh, we've got the stock volumes of the reagents, Ki, and so forth, and uh, and if you've already entered in these uh, these values for the for the concentrations of those. Uh, of those reagents in solution as we've done here for these three different runs and if you've also entered in the um, the values for the for the um, for the, the the rate proxy that we've used which is change in pressure with respect to time then um, we're ready to uh, to do this part now the uh, the equation that we have is that I'm supposed to say that the rate is equal to delta P delta T times the volume of the uh, of the air which uh, this will be different for you but let's just say that was 15 uh, mils and then downstairs we uh, we need to divide by the gas constant 0.082 in this case times the uh, the temperature which uh, you'll have recorded but I'm just going to say for this example 298 Kelvin times the volume of the solution which uh, was uh, for most of our cases it was uh, 25 mils so um, that's what that is. So now I've just calculated the rate. So here's the nice thing about that is that there's this there's this drag. I, I go to the lower right and it changes the uh, the sign here to this plus. And if I drag it off to the right, it's just going to redo that calculation for uh, for run two and for run three. Uh, for example, you can kind of see how um, it referred to uh, B seven to get uh, to get that rate, and here and now it referred to C seven and uh, a D7. And uh, a similar thing we can do for the rate constant. So the rate constant is, you know, is going to be related to the rate by the, the rate law. So I'm going to uh, take that rate then and divide it by the concentrations of you know, raised to appropriate powers. So uh, I'm going to say it's equal to the rate divided by, let's see, the Ki in solution and uh, in this case, you know, uh, uh, the data seem to be most consistent with first order, so I'm going to raise it to the first power uh, on the uh, Ki, and then also to the uh, first power. But you could have, you might have a different order in your that came out of your data. Um, but anyway, that's kind of the way you do it. And um, so now that's the rate constant, and we can do a similar thing, which is go to the lower right, grab it, pull it off to the right, and now it has different values, um, you know, it's done the same thing now for uh, for runs two and run three. And uh, one last thing, since these are the rate constants, it's supposed to be the same number, we can say, oh, well, the, uh, the I could take an average of those by um, uh, using Excel's average uh, function, which I'm just going to grab all three of those and close parentheses. And so Right there, so we have, um, this is our average rate constant for runs one, two, and three. Okay, great.